What's going on guys? T-Mart here and welcome back to another the episode of to be so clear when I was reliving the Quantum past. break. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that. But I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. Uh-oh. Here we go, guys. Personal slash business, act two, part four. Liam Burke was in the, ooh, that went way too fast. But uh, yeah, so Mr. Paul Serene has got us uh, essentially captive. We found our brother's uh, second kind of backup time machine in the pool and uh, I don't know, it's gonna be interesting to see where this plays out next. We kind of walked straight into Paul's trap, so obviously we probably have some sort of a plan, but uh, nobody knows Jack what that knows. could be. I have to talk to him. All right, here we go. Looks like we're gonna be taking over Paul. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. All right. So we might have to choose between talking to Jack ourselves and letting Martin handle him. We know how Martin deals with things. Holy cow, my eye is watering so bad. Ah! All right, we're good. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. <laughs> and it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? All right, choose whether you focus on your personal business or the mission. Let's go check this out. We've got to decide between two options. Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Okay, let's see what happens if we choose personal. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Will. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Oh wow, Serene chooses to focus on his relationship with Jack and let Monarch fend for itself for a while. Let's see what business has to say. That with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried, along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Well now, I don't think this is a, a very hard choice at all. We definitely want to focus. I mean, we are on Paul's side. We want, we want Paul to lose. So with the left choice, Jack still lives. Paul loses control and everything just kind of goes into complete chaos for Monarch. Absolutely. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. 
Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Loyalty, baby. Martin's not happy. leads I've been to the end of time and I've escaped it all the way to 1999 when it all started I've tried to change things but by trying I only made them happen in the first place all right you chose to have serene focus on his personal business 60% um, of friends agree with that 54% of the community agree with that Wow so some people are on Paul Serene's side, which is crazy to me. They want to see the end of the world. They want to see Monarch Time is breaking down. Monarch take over and preparing for man. it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And Here comes another us, epic cutscene, boys. You've been the face of Monarch get all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your truth. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Hmm. Wait! We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. <laughs> That's where we last left off with our, our major major cutscene, the last big one that was like 30, who episode two prisoner. Dude, I can't wait for this. This is like a movie, literally. Like I'm I'm actually really excited to see what happens. Breathe. Is this Paul Serene? Some sort of treatment? <sighs> the treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No, I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. Mansion on Gull Island. They're just throwing a rager out here, son. You haven't touched your drink. I am mean, just not. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had to, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. 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 I helped catch a train here today. 
Get in there, Charlie. Let's go. Traitor. Is that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was it? Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> Yeah. What? Well, I guess I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one, for real, this time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hanging here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right. Awkward. What a bee. A biatch. Thanks for the gun. <laughs> Dr. Rummel? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Damn, that was savage, dude. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker. Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, she got him drunk. Over there. He's gonna be giving right. up all sorts One of info. Of necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. But... 
I might have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Mm. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you owe me so a bad? Sword. I don't think I can drink. Drink. Anymore. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh, I actually ate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your encouragement. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, I'm taking mine too. Hold yourself together, brother. Come on. Hey, buddy. Crocker. Crocker. Burke. Crocker. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, hey, hey. if I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Is this actually gonna work? Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh! With just his legs, are you serious? What a boss. No way. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. But again, <laughs> Well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I guess, yeah, I love work. Hold oh, right shit. there! Shit! Hey, you little fuck! Hey, hey, well, all you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. So we just found out that his little girlfriend is a two-timer as well. What a chance of fate Thank that he God runs into necessary. him out in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Come on. 
hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> What is that? The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however, it's stretched, like you've seen too much. All of it blending into one, apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I, at 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell 
same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. We keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race at this point. They're a necessary sacrifice. Oh, come on. What an outrageous thing to say. Necessary sacrifice. Who refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? When you're ready to cooperate, I'll be here. Damn, dude. I don't think that's ever gonna happen, homie. Who was he? He was my mentor. From uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in, uh bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got, um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. Oh shit! Oh no! Wait. No, 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 no! This way, this way! Turn! No, 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 don't, 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 don't! You're in the blinker. Fiona! What is that? The lab is stutter proof. Stay here. At the stutter? Where are you going? There are cold on harnesses up here! We need him! Oh, she's caught in a stutter. If we wear these things. Oh, Jesus, dude, this is intimidating. These guys are terrible. They have vectors, dude. Do you see that? Let's go! 
I can't believe he just screwed us over again, dude. What a little scumbag. I seriously can't believe it. Like, wow. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We are going to take on a research facility right here. Chapter 3, Part 1. I'll see you guys there.